Optima Low Vision does three different things. The first is we run low vision clinics around the country, mainly in the southwest, so NHS clinics, so people have been seen by the ophthalmologist. People may have difficulty to see to do things, so then they get referred to us, and our job is then to help. Uh, another part of what we do is we supply a lot of equipment, low vision equipment, whether it's types of magnifiers or filters or lighting equipment. And the third part of Optima is we teach. So we train eye health professionals to teach and help support people with low vision. As well as being a low vision therapist, I also have low vision myself. So in some cases, I will experience similar difficulties as some of the participants today who have birdshot. So what we're able to do or what we try to do is to find ways to use our vision in a better way. So making the best use of whether it's different types of magnifiers, different types of lighting, um, perhaps filters to help us with glare so we can continue to do what we want to see and do um, so that quality of life isn't, isn't affected. You may have problems seeing detail but with the right, help, the right help, the right support, the right encouragement there's no reason why your independence can't be affected. You can continue to do, live independently and live successfully. It make, living with low vision makes sometimes the smaller things more difficult. Lots of people take things for granted, like picking up a newspaper, being able to see that, uh, taking your letter arrives at the door, what is it? When you're going out shopping, what's the backs of packets, instructions, being able to see ingredients, price tags, <laughs> um, you know, just finding things, like being able to find where the toilets are, uh, where, the, where the exits are. Um, so it means that we sometimes have to think around the problem so ways to help with it and yeah it's 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 a challenge but again it's a challenge that we can overcome a lot of people i've been speaking with today have difficulty um, and keep on explaining they have difficulty with glare light sensitivity so on a bright sunny day it's quite uncomfortable typically when somebody has problems with glare they go off and buy a dark pair of sunglasses but if you do that you often lose the ability to see detail so yes you block out the glare but you block out everything else so what's very helpful we found today working with people is filters so blue blocker filters which will cut out the light that causes people difficulty but enables them to continue to see to do things and it can also in some ways help with their acuity so maintain their detail vision and often improve their contrast sensitivity so filters have been for some people, haven't really thought about the possibility of what can help, and for us, filters can be very successful, very effective for people with birdshot.